Ukraine's incursion through Russia's defenses during the first major foreign invasion since World War II has exposed the Kremlin's seemingly imaginary red lines and revealed a passive and muted response from Russian ruler Vladimir Putin, according to the Washington Post. Kyiv's lightning incursion into Kursk in Western Russia this month slashed through the reddest line of all, a direct ground assault on Russia, yet Putin's response has so far been strikingly passive and muted in sharp contrast to his rhetoric earlier in the war. On day one of the invasion in February 2022, Putin warned that any country that stood in Russia's way would face consequences such as you have never seen in your entire history, a threat that seemed directed at countries that might arm Ukraine. If Russia's territorial integrity were threatened, we will certainly use all the means at our disposal to protect Russia and our people. It's not a bluff, he said a few months later in September. The citizens of Russia can be sure that the territorial integrity of our motherland, our independence and freedom will be ensured. I emphasize this again with all the means at our disposal, making a clear reference to Russia's nuclear weapons. But Ukraine's punch through Russian defenses in the first foreign invasion since World War II exposed Russia's military flaws and laid bare Moscow's apparently illusory red lines. The Washington Post said, some in the West are now questioning Washington's strategy towards Ukraine. A slow, calibrated supply of weapons to Ukraine to avoid escalating tensions with Russia that critics argue has dashed Kyiv's chances of driving Russia out and resulted in a grinding war of attrition with massive casualties. It is noted that Ukraine has repeatedly crossed Moscow's imaginary red lines, in particular the sinking of the Russian flagship Moskva, the explosion on the Crimean Bridge in 2022, drone attacks on the Kremlin and Moscow in 2023, the murder of propagandists on Russian territory and attacks on Russian strategic air bases. In addition, the Western equipment used by Ukrainian forces was also once a red line. Many analysts believe that the US policy on military assistance to Ukraine should have been a shining example, but it remained timid. An unnamed Russian academic who spoke on condition of anonymity and has close ties to senior Moscow diplomats said that the Russian leadership takes the use of US and Western weapons deep inside Russia very seriously. But it is unclear whether a decision has been made on how to respond. The Russian government is trying to downplay the significance of the Ukrainian incursion and the failure of its military leadership. A landslide in the city of Ketchikan in extreme southeast Alaska has killed at least one person and injured at least three, local officials said. Some residents have been ordered to evacuate as officials warn another slide could strike nearby. Multiple homes, businesses and roadways were significantly damaged when the landslide tore down a hillside in the coastal city of Ketchikan. In my 65 years in Ketchikan, I have never seen a slide of this magnitude, Ketchikan Mayor Dave Kiffer said. The loss of life that we have encountered is heartbreaking, and my heart goes out to those who lost their homes, he added. Governor Mike Dunleavy issued an Alaska disaster emergency declaration. A mandatory evacuation order has been issued for residents on 3rd Avenue, 2nd Avenue, 1st Avenue, and White Cliff Avenue between Austin and Natto Streets. The Ketchikan High School is set up as an emergency shelter with water, food, and blankets. The Saxman Community Center has been identified as a second emergency shelter site. The slide blocked the 3rd Avenue bypass, as well as other roads in the area. Crews cleared downed power lines that were interfering with rescue efforts. The borough confirmed that power has been restored to nearby homes but power on 1st and 2nd avenues in the slide zone will likely be down for an extended period of time. Authorities have advised avoiding the area until further notice. Our prayers are with the families, the injured, those recovering, and the community, Senator Dan Sullivan said on social media, later adding, my team and I stand ready to help facilitate any federal assistance that may be necessary. This happened. They just went down. Can't even wait for 2911.
Um, we need to get out of here, Dad. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Again, from that little landslide there. 